All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to talk about some uh, antique store and garage sale finds, uh, some of which may not be coin related, and I apologize in advance, but I wanted to share some of the finds I had and how much I got them for. A little something that we traditionally do every Father's Day, we go out, go to sales, you know, uh, traditionally we like to go out of town. You know, to places we're not familiar with. But this is the first lot, and it's all 1965. Tops baseball, no doubles. I bought all the cards as a group, $25. So we're gonna go in here and take a look at the cards and condition. A lot of old dudes. Uh, the cards, if you guys are familiar with baseball card grading, a lot of these are probably around the VG to VG+. Plus. There might be an EX in there. There's a couple rookies. Uh, some no-namers, I suppose. Fred Norman, Paul, Jackal, Bob Gwinden, and Jerry Vizendi. Ralph... Gagliano and Jim Ritwidge. All right. The names are not familiar. Uh, Denver LeMaster. Pretty cool names back in the day. There you go. Willie Horton. I know him. Don Elston. Johnny Callison. A couple of minor stars in here, I suppose. There's a White Sox second place American League team card. Indians There are a few cards that have writing on them. Oh, Bob friend. Yeah, I know him not personally, but I know of him The cards are in overall pretty decent shape. I Think a lot of these commons would sell in the 50 cent range uh, Lou over here has some sort of writing on there in ink this uh, White Sox team card has some, what looks or appears to be tape adhesive left on there. Uh, this one's off center. Larry Miller. It's a Yankees World Series. Boaton wins again. And a checklist, which apparently someone used uh, with, you know, for what they're intended to use for. Someone actually marked off all the cards they had. So there you go. Card 189. Old vintage baseball cards, man. Can't beat it. Johnny Wyatt. Herman Franks. And you guys might know this guy. Roberto Clemente. This one is not fantastic. It's got some soiling, you know, it's been traded around a few times. Uh, corner issues, this is a low end VG. Near mint book on this card's 200 or something like that. It's not bad. Yeah, that's a pretty recognizable star if I say so. And for the big one, that was actually in this lot. The card of this set, 60, uh, 65 tops. Mickey Mantle. Nice. Eh, traditional wear, but overall the card is nice. As you know, a couple corner little doodads. That card right there has got to be worth at least 25 in itself. Uh, seeing that is how book is 600 for near mint. Um, issue I got PSA 7 or something like that uh, yeah this is a VG VG you know it's off center off center is a big deal when collecting these vintage cards uh, the back looks okay slightly offset to the right but yeah pretty close margin there on the bottom pretty sweet huh $25 score right there 56 cards of 1965 Topps Baseball. 
I don't have that many sports cards or memorabilia, but I thought this is a pretty gosh darn good buy. And everybody knows the mantle. Uh, in any condition, they sell for any amount of money. Uh, so, yeah, they're out there, guys. Scores abound. Garage sales and flea markets. Anyways, I'll wrap up part one of this one. Uh, up next, you'll want to stay tuned because I think it's something you guys will like. Coins and bullion. All right, see ya.